Witness the destruction of Russia's T-80 tanks by Ukrainian drones. A drone throws a grenade into the hatch of a T-80 tank. This is a major security vulnerability. When there is no movement inside, the second and third grenades are thrown. The soldiers inside might have died from the first grenade, but by now it's too late. The tank has caught fire. It will soon be destroyed in a devastating way. Once again, a Russian tank with its entry hatch open. I think this is their biggest security flaw. It's an incredibly easy target. In this war, it is clear that the Russians have experienced this situation hundreds of times, but still haven't taken any precautions. Russian tanks, particularly the T-80 and similar models, have been observed to have significant vulnerabilities during the Ukraine conflict, notably their exposed hatches. The design flaw where hatches remain open or unsecured leaves the crew inside highly vulnerable to attacks, especially from drones and grenades. This time, instead of dropping a grenade, a kamikaze drone attack is carried out. Ukrainian kamikaze drone attacks have become a significant tactic in the ongoing conflict with Russia. These drones, often modified or repurposed commercial drones, are equipped with explosives and are used to target high-value Russian military assets, including tanks, artillery, and ammunition depots. Kamikaze drones are designed to be flown directly into their targets, where they detonate on impact, causing devastating damage. This strategy is particularly effective against larger, heavily armored targets that may be difficult to penetrate with conventional weapons. By using drones, Ukraine can strike from a distance, minimizing the risk to their own forces. Now we can clearly see how a drone is controlled. Everything is done using a display screen for visual feedback and a guidance console for steering. Especially when a bomb is thrown into the tank through the top hatch, there is absolutely no chance of survival. The explosive force and the confined space inside the tank leave little room for escape, making it almost impossible for the crew to survive such an attack. This vulnerability highlights a critical flaw in tank design, particularly when the hatches are left open, exposing the crew to these deadly risks. Another T-80 tank 
And once again, a kamikaze attack. There's no chance of survival, an easy target. The vulnerability is clear. A kamikaze drone, a grenade thrown into the hatch. Once the explosive is inside, there's no escape for the crew. The blast is devastating, and with no quick exit, survival chances are nearly non-existent. And while the T-80's gas turbine engine gives it incredible speed, it's a double-edged sword. The engine is expensive to maintain and consumes fuel at a rate that makes long-term operations difficult, especially in field conditions. Maintaining a T-80 in the field is no easy task. Its engine requires regular attention, and in combat situations, that means a high risk of downtime and mechanical failures. This complexity makes it harder to keep in action compared to simpler tanks like the T-72. Despite these drawbacks, the T-80 remains a powerful force. But in the modern era, it's increasingly vulnerable. Tanks like these face constant pressure from high-tech weapons, drones, and precision strikes that exploit their weaknesses. As we've seen in recent conflicts, the T-80's design flaws, its fuel inefficiency, its complex maintenance, and its exposed weak points have made it a target. And with the rise of drone warfare, tanks like the T-80 are finding it harder to stay relevant in today's battlefield.